Hi, my name is Marianne, and this is how we use pupillometry. A pupillometer is a non-invasive handheld device that is used to provide an objective measurement of the pupils before and after a light stimulus, as well as the pupillary reactivity to light. First, obtain a pupillometer from the charging station. You will know the device is fully charged by a green indicator light on the charging station or is actively charging if there's a blue indicator light on the charging station. The device will wake up automatically when removed from the charging dock. Obtain a disposable smart guard and place it on the pupillometer. This smart guard should be labeled and kept in the patient's room for reuse for the duration of the patient admission or until the memory chip RFID tag is full. Select either manual ID via keypad touch entry or scan code via the incorporated wristband barcode scanner to enter the patient ID number. Position the pupillometer in front of the right or left eye with the foam pad of the smart guard resting at the top of the patient's cheekbone below the eye. Maintain the eyelid in a fully open position and hold the pupillometer at a right angle to the patient's axis of vision, minimizing any tilting of the device. Press and hold the corresponding right or left button and reposition the pupillometer as needed and trying to avoid tilting until the pupil is centered on the screen and encircled by a green ring. A green frame around the screen indicates the pupil is properly targeted, while a red frame around the screen indicates the pupil needs to be recentered on the screen before the measurement is initiated. Once the green frame appears, release the button, holding the pupillometer steady in place for approximately three seconds until the results screen is displayed. Repeat the scan procedure for the patient's other eye to complete the bilateral pupil exam. If a measurement error occurs, the results screen will show a red rescan message. Simply repeat the measurement for this eye. When the bilateral pupil exam is complete, results will be displayed in green for the right eye and yellow for the left eye. This displays NPI and size, along with bilateral differences in these measurements. Finally, remove patient's smart guard and leave it at the bedside. After adequately using the pupillometer, the documentation will consist of the following for both eyes. Reactivity is defined by the neurological pupil index. 3 to 4.9 is normal or brisk. 0.1 to 2.9 is abnormal or sluggish. Non-reactive, atypical, or immeasurable response, and pupil size and symmetry. The provider should be notified at the discretion of the RN or other clinician with the following significant findings or changes in assessment. An NPI less than three, if this is a change from baseline. Difference in right to left pupil size of greater than one millimeter, if this is a change from baseline. Difference in right to left NPI of greater than 0.7, and it's important to note that a downward trend of the NPI may be an indication of impending neurologic deterioration.